In statistics, one of the first and most important concepts you'll come across is something called a sampling distribution. Now recall, usually we have a population that we're interested in learning more about, and we draw a very small sample or chunk of that population, and from that sample we try to make inferences about the population that it came from. Now usually we don't know things about the population like its mean or its variance or any other parameter, but from this sample we can make inferences or estimates about what those parameters actually are. Now to visualize this, luckily for us we have a very useful applet online and the address is right here which I'll post in the information box down below. It has some instructions and to get started just click on this begin button to bring up this applet window. It starts you off with the default normal distribution although you can also select like a uniform or a skewed or even a custom distribution where you can draw it in with your mouse. But for now click on this animated, bu animated button to see a sample of five being randomly drawn from this population. Okay, So what happens is each of these gray bars represents one individual sample from or one individual subject or observation, the sample size is five, from this larger population. It takes the mean of those and then it plots it down in this histogram right down here. Right. So we can keep doing that. And as we keep doing it, and we take the mean and we keep plotting it down here below, we start to build up a sampling distribution, a sampling distribution of the means. To speed this up, you can click on either five or a thousand samples, and you can see that quickly it begins to converge on the true population mean. So on average, all of these means that we gather, and it can be tens, it can be hundreds, it can be thousands, it starts to converge on the actual mean of this parent population. Okay. You'll also notice that no matter what the actual shape of the parent population is, even if it was, say, skewed heavily to the right, and we took a thousand samples and took all the means of those, the distribution of those means would still be normally distributed. This is a phenomenon referred to as the central limit theorem. The last thing I'd like to show you is a difference between what's called a biased and an unbiased estimator. So in this plot right here, I'm going to be calculating the variance, but dividing each of those observed variances by n. Okay. Down here, it's going to be the same procedure, but I'll be dividing each of those variances by n minus 1, which will make it, on average, equal to the variance observed in this parent population. So you can see here that the standard deviation of the parent population is 6, roughly. So the variance of the parent population should be about 36. I'm going to plot 10,000 of these samples down here. You can see that the mean of these of this variance distribution is about 30 when I divide each of those by n. So it's much closer to zero than the actual variance of the population, but it's much farther from the actual variance of the population. Down here on the other hand, the actual variance is larger, but it's closer to the population variance. So it's about 38, whereas the actual variance of the population was a little over 36. Okay, so an unbiased estimator refers to the fact that on average, these statistics that we're calculating, if we take the mean of all of those, all of those samples that we observe, on average it should be relatively closer to the actual parameter we're interested in, rather than a biased estimator. There are several more things you can see on this applet website. There are lots of exercises and more tutorials you can go through. And I think it's an excellent introduction for anybody beginning with statistics and trying to wrap their head around what a sampling distribution actually is.